Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm John from Tennis Companion, and today we're doing an in-depth review and playtest of the Wilson Clash. Before we get started, I did want to let you know that this is not a sponsored video. I haven't been paid by Wilson or anyone else to discuss this racket. With that said, let's start with the Wilson Clash's specs, so you know exactly what you're getting with this racket. Originally released in February of 2019, the Clash was a few years in the making, with Wilson digging deep to come up with something radically different. More specifically, they set out to develop a racket that blends the control of a flexible racket with the power of a stiffer racket, without the sacrifice that typically occurs when you lean too heavily in either direction. The Clash comes in your standard length of 27 inches and features a very reasonable 100 square inch head size with a 16 by 19 string pattern. Wilson quotes the racket weighs in at 10.4 ounces or 295 grams unstrung, but some variance is typical. As you can see, my frame is just shy of 10.3 ounces or 291 grams. You can add 18 or so grams for the strung weight. When it comes to balance, the Clash is 10 points head light at 31 centimeters unstrung which reduces to 7 points head light at 32 centimeters with strings installed. And its swing weight is relatively low at only 312. As far as stiffness goes, this is where the frame is very unique, and clocks in a super low stiffness or RA rating of 55 as one of the most flexible rackets on the market. Last but not least, the Clash has a 24.5 millimeter beam all the way around. If you're overwhelmed or not familiar with any of these specs and you're looking for more information, be sure to check out my guides on these topics which I've linked in the video's description. To realize their vision for the Clash, the team at Wilson had to flex their creative muscles in the development of a few key technologies that support the racket's performance goals. However, as a preface, keep in mind that while the tech behind a racket is interesting, what really matters is how a racket feels when playing. So it's useful to understand the intentions behind the tech but to ultimately demo or try a racket before you buy, if possible, to form your own opinions. First up, you have what Wilson dubs Free Flex, which is proprietary carbon mapping that tailors the construction of the frame's graphite to allow for greater horizontal and vertical flex, which works for traditional or modern swing paths with the intention of improving dwell time or feel and subsequently control. Next, the Clash features Wilson's Stable Smart technology, which shows up as a unique geometric design of the racket shaft to improve stability and power. Last but not least, the racket offers parallel drilling for select grommet holes throughout the frame, which is easier to spot when compared to an older racket and is intended to increase the size of the sweet spot. If Like Me Red isn't your favorite color, you can solve for that by heading over to Wilson's website where you can customize the paint job to your heart's content. To be clear, it's not super cheap and it will take four to six weeks for delivery, but it's a fun option that's worth noting. The recommended tension range for the Wilson Clash is 47 to 57 pounds. For my playtest, I used a hybrid string setup with 1.25 millimeter Luxalon Alu Power at 50 pounds in the mains and 1.3 millimeter Wilson NXT at 52 pounds in the crosses. A lot of players with arm issues take a chance on this racket for its comfort so I wanted to go with a string setup that would make sense for those users without giving up too much on the spin front. Keep in mind that the mains in a hybrid string setup will dominate the overall feel, so you could flip my setup for a bit more comfort. Of course, if comfort is a top priority, you might go with a full multi-filament setup or a full poly setup for improving topspin. Now that you know exactly what to expect from the Wilson Clash, let's jump into my playtest and review. Before we jump in, here are a few playtest notes that you might find useful when considering my thoughts and opinions on the racket. On ground strokes, the Wilson Clash was fantastic, and the racket delivered on the promise of a solid balance between control and power. Without a doubt, you can feel the flex of the racket, but the lively response and energy return on contact is what makes it unique. The ball really moves, delivering a level of power that's counterintuitive to its feel, and pairs nicely with the open 16x19 string pattern for plenty of topspin without which would likely cause the power to be overbearing. Despite its lower weight, I found the Clash to perform excellent hitting slice, 
and overall the comfort level for this frame is top notch. Up at net, the Clash is easy to maneuver. However, while its power was controllable from the baseline with the added benefit of topspin, it felt a bit too lively hitting volleys in the only area of the court where I felt I could have used a bit extra tension or a full poly setup. I also think a bit more weight would go a long way with volleys to aid stability. With that said, the more time I spend with the racket, the better it gets at net, which I think is in part to feeling out the unique response of the racket. For serves, I thought the Wilson Clash was well balanced. It's no slump when it comes to power, but it's not quite on par with rackets like the Pure Drive or Arrow, and I think that's perfectly fine. You can argue it makes up for it by helping deliver more accurate placement, plenty of spin, and way more comfort, which is a trade-off many players are likely happy to make. On returns, the racket's lower weight and headlight balance make it easy to maneuver as expected, and although it can have a tendency to get pushed around a bit on a heavier serve, it's stable for its weight. Overall, I was impressed on returns and felt confident in my approach with the frame's spin-friendly characteristics helping keep the ball in play. There's no doubt the Wilson Clash is a uniquely distinct frame, and I applaud Wilson for their innovative approach to this racket. Although it does seem to strike a balance between control and power, I felt it skewed more toward power with reduced stiffness to improve comfort, which is where I think the frame finds a sweet spot. Players who want more spin and power but demand comfort should absolutely consider it, and I thought the hybrid string setup I chose was an excellent pair for this group. All in all, I think this racket has broad appeal and is a safe recommendation for a wide range of players. However, this frame will be less likely to satisfy upper level intermediate to advanced players who demand more control, stability, and greater feedback. If you'd like to learn more about the Wilson Clash, be sure to check out my full write-up, which I've linked in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.